Now, the Armenian Prime Minister, Nikol Pashinyan, has won a decisive victory in the country's snap parliamentary elections, which were held on Sunday. Well, his civil contract party clinched nearly 54% of the votes. That's despite widespread anger at his handling of the fight for control of the region of Nagorno-Karabakh. That's a fight in which Azerbaijan claimed victory. Opashinian has called on his supporters to celebrate the victory in the centre of the capital, uh, Yerevan. France 24's Luke Schrego is there amongst them and has this update. He'd build it as a handover of the Iron Mandate, referring to the hammer that he'd held up at rallies during uh, his electoral campaign. Uh, Nikol Pashinyan's victory lap here in central Yerevan's Republic Square after he won re-election with a handy nearly 54% of the vote in what essentially came down to be a two-horse race between him and uh, former president uh, Robert Kocharian. Now, as we look forward, Nikol Pashinyan spoke of... Uh, turning the page, putting aside enmity and new values for Armenia, perhaps a move to reach out after a particularly divisive and venomous uh, campaign for the election. Now, if uh, that vote was more a means for Armenians to keep out the old elites of the former regime, then Nikol Pashinyan likely knows he has not been forgiven for his faults and uh, shortcomings, particularly his catastrophic loss of the war last year in Nagorno-Karabakh. Now, this will truly be a test moving forward for his reinforced mandate, particularly in terms of seeing how much opposition he's likely to face in passing his agenda, particularly when it comes down to the November 9 ceasefire accord, one which gave uh, away deeply unpopular concessions to Azerbaijan. Luke Schrager